so pretty. Hey, what's up, guys? DeekRelaxShacks.com. Want to talk to you about a very affordable heater today that you might be able to employ in your tiny house, your backyard, uh, office, art studio, and so on. Also, check out my brand new book on Amazon.com. We have it in the description below as well, plus info on our upcoming hands-on with camping tiny house workshop in North Carolina with many guest speakers. Chris Strathy, uh, the capable carpenter. Chris Shapdick from Tiny Industrial from the Jersey area. Uh, Andrew Odom from North Carolina, Tiny House uh, NC, NorthCarolina.com. Uh, Leanne Stevens, Tiny House Cook, and many, many more. Y mucho mas. But I want to show you this because this is something we worked in our box truck, which is a film, documentary film we've been working on that's coming up, boxtruckfilm.com, where we took a decommissioned U Haul truck and using nothing but roadside finds. Reused items, dumpster dive goods, you know, whatever we could find. We, we cobbled together a dwelling for Alex Eves, a reuse expert. Boxstruckfilm.com. That tiny house is solely heated with this here. Now, there are many pros and cons to a unit like this. It's a comfort zone heater, which you can find, again, description below on Amazon for like 40 bucks or so. There are many advantages and disadvantages to going with electric heat. First of all, electric heat, very inefficient. Basically the heat is produced through the loss or inefficient loss. Uh, I won't get into it. It's not that complicated, but complicated enough where it'll get really boring. So as a result, you're kind of wasting electricity and the uh, inefficient byproduct is the heat itself, more or less. Um, so there's that. One thing that's important people fail to realize in tiny spaces, sound is amplified. Uh, if you're in a tiny insulated space, any heater with a blower is going to really bother you over time. And actually uh, prolonged, you know, sounds like that can cause some some hearing loss over time. You know, like sleeping with a fan, not good for you, for the record. So one of the cons of something like this, a pro is it's cheap price-wise. Uh, it gives off quite a bit of heat. A con would be, also I think it has two settings so you can't intricately adjust the heat. But here you got your low and high settings. Um, something like this is cheap, lots of heat, but it's loud. Another pro, I can put it on high to start with. Another pro is you have this fake fire facade here. It's kind of this little spinning piece, I presume, inside there. The fake fire in the background. It's kind of hypnotizingly cool. Sure, it doesn't look like real, real fire, but it's close enough where I kind of enjoy the look of it. Very modern too, almost a like mid-century modern, like that candy apple red, if you can see that here. The lighting is kind of really rough. I'm trying to position it under this light so you can see it. But you can already hear the blower here is a little bit loud. I'll put on the lower setting for you, which is uh, no different. So in the high setting or the low, the blower is going to have that one sonic speed. And this thing pumps out quite a bit of heat. It's blowing it kind of in a downward fashion because hot air rises, so that's giving you a little more play in the heat as it rises from down low to up high, you know, in terms of it passing north. Um, so this thing cooks real quick. There's a lot of other styles of heaters that might be more quiet, but they don't immediately kick off as much heat. With this, love it. It's cheap. It's portable. As the anti, see I tip it just a little bit, mechanism here. And it shuts uh, right off. So if you're worried, like in the middle of the night, like I like to flail when I sleep and I kick a lot, you knock this thing over, it's going to shut off. I'm not a firm believer, despite what the reviews say, what people say about leaving these like electric heaters on all the time, because I do worry about something overheating over time. Haven't heard any cases with this, so it seems like it's safe, it's legit, it's probably been tested to death, but still not sure if I'd use this in a round-the-clock permanent application but more so as you know a heat subsid uh, subsidizer can't talk it's late as i film this so uh here's the heater again comfort zone like i said in the description below check it out pick one up um if you dug this video or at least found it informative hit the like button hit that little bell for notifications please subscribe thank you for watching as always and maybe we will see you in north carolina See, it's loud. I need the silence there for just a second to talk about the workshop and shamelessly plug it.
Check one of these out. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised, even if it's just to heat up a space to get it started as your other heaters, which are slower, later do the work for you. For 40 bucks, I don't think you really can go wrong.